Hello, everybody. So somebody's having trouble with SPLOP, and it was too difficult to explain in a quick reply, so I'm going to do a short video on this. Uh, they're trying to get these pieces onto this little domed surface here. Um, let me explain my color scheme to you. All curves are this orange. There's a curve. You can kind of see it. Uh, when I move, see how that turns a little bit orange? All right, so that's a curve. And then surfaces are blue. I've got my V points. I've got my U, uh, U ISO curve direction, my V ISO curve direction. And then red is an unjoined edge and black is a joined edge. So let's look at this thing here first. What is it? A closed solid poly surface with three surfaces. All right, we don't need that, so we're going to get rid of it. Uh, next, this surface. The reason why this will never work is because, let's count our edges. All surfaces have four edges. We've got one here, that naked edge that goes around. We've got, this is joined, so there must be two. One, two, that's three. And our fourth edge is completely collapsed at this point. And we can turn the points on and see. This guy right here that single point is an entire edge. That's why this will never splop correctly, that collapse point. It can't map this to these four sides. I'll show you the quick way and then I'll show you the correct way. So the quick way is if we use drape surface and I'm gonna drape a surface looking down over the top of this. Oops. And I don't have enough resolution here to capture all this. So I'm going to say 40 and 40. And we'll pick an area here that covers the whole thing. All right. So what I did was just drape a surface over this other surface. Now, it doesn't meet up exactly, especially at the edge where it goes from a uh, dome into a flat. It's not going to match up right there at the edge, but it's close enough. So let's do splop. And he gave us a nice center point. Let's go over here and grab the edge. And then we are going to splop onto this surface, going from the center point over to the edge. And now we can delete that and we did what we set out to do. It doesn't match up perfectly out at the edges, but it's close enough. That, that is the easy way, splop. The problem with splop is look at how heavy the iso curve density is on this. If you were to try and do Booleans or anything else, it would be uh, incredibly complex. I mean, this just became a really, really complex um, set of surfaces to deal with, and we don't meet up properly at the edges, which we could do the splop again and bring it in slightly, but then this guy, um, well, he's overlapped a little bit, but he's close in some parts. <clears throat> Let's look at a cleaner way of doing this, all right? So the first thing is we don't flow surfaces. We flow curves. And this surface will lock it for right now, uh, use it as a reference. I don't need these guys anymore, um, but I will put a point at zero for reference. All right, let's divide this up. And we will say four segments and split them. Okay, so now we've got four curves here, four curves and one point. I wanna take that point and lock it so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to take these curves and rotate them, whoops, rotate them 45 degrees. That's 90, that's 45. And then we will come over here and say surface from two, three, four edge curves. Grab that, 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 and that, okay. Now I'm going to copy this from this point to that point. I didn't mean to do that extra copy. All right, and we can see here that the, this map does not line up exactly with it, and that's probably why um, it was going over a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll just ignore that for this demo, but that needs to be fixed if you want this to, to match up. So the next thing we're gonna do is rebuild this surface, 
and uh, we'll use four or five. Yeah, we'll, we'll use four or five for it and turn the points on. So now this is a four-sided surface and here are our points. We've got a center point um, where this ISO curve and this ISO curve meet up in the center and then we've got all these other points. So looking down, what we want to do is make these guys We want to kind of make this as circular as we can. Okay. And then we want to grab all of these. That's all of them. All right. And let's look at it from the side view and bring them up. All right. So we've kind of matched the the curvature at the base, and if we grab the center point, bring that up. All right, that, that's a pretty close match. The important thing here is that all the edges are flat on the bottom and it is dome shaped. It is dome shaped. Uh, it's not matching in these corners, which we can take these points on the uh, diagonal corners and move those out just a little bit and it'll match up a little bit better. But that's a pretty good match. It's just not a mathematical match of um, of a collapsed sphere, um, but you're never going to get that. But oh, and because we had history on that guy turned into a uh, a dome as well. We can just uh, set it to set the z to zero and make it flat. It doesn't matter so much that I change the um, degree on that because we're going to use that to flow onto there. So let's grab these curves now and flow them. And we will say uh, flow along surface from this surface to that surface. And now they are domed. Our curves are domed. And then all we have to do, I'm going to copy this and then hide it. And with the copy, I'm going to take these curves and trim off the surface. And now we will just offset um, offset surf and the distance, uh, I don't know how thick it was to begin with. We are going to say solid, loose, delete input, yes, both sides, yes, and see how that looks. All right, now these edge ISO curves are a little bit too heavy for my taste. These guys were heavy coming in. So even though I used a very simple flow, uh, if this was just a simple circle right here, turn those points on, a very lightweight. Actually, let me rebuild this even more. Rebuild, uh, do a regular rebuild to three, six, okay? So that's a very lightweight circle, not a mathematical circle, but it's a circle. Let's turn our flow uh, target on and do that again, flow base target and come look at these points. Still six, you start with light, you end with something that's that size or a little bit heavier. You start with something this dense, you're gonna end with something uh, that dense or denser. So this will probably work, but uh, that, that's how you get into trouble having all these ISO curves. Anyways, that's uh, the quick way of doing the splop or uh, the better way of doing it. Just depends if you want more problems in the end. Anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions.